something got this thing. Yep. Big boy. Big boy. Okay. Okay, Mark. Shauna and we trying to catch some bluegills there are tons over here they biting left and right but they're not getting hooked so we're trying to catch a bluegill and oh nah get away turtle and use that bluegill to catch a bass that's the goal so we're gonna see if we can make it happen man get the hell away These damn bait snatchers. <laughs> not just me. Nah, they're not easy to catch. You got one, Mark? There we go. That's a bluegill. That's exactly what we want. But now we're going to use him and we're going to hook him on this hook right here to get the other one. To get a bigger fish, yeah. So this is gonna be my first time actually trying this one. So what we're gonna do is, Wait, how do you, hook him? you hook him right behind the dorsal fin, just like this. Okay. This right here is called a circle hook. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hook him right behind his fin, right at the bottom of his fin. That way he can still swim around. So he's still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. So you throw him out there to catch the other one. And now I'm gonna throw him out there to catch a bass. Hopefully, that's the plan. So I'm gonna throw him where I know bass live all over here. That's where I pulled the big one out um, two days ago, Mark. I always catch him right over here. So I'm gonna just toss this guy up over there. All right, so we got him out there. We're just gonna let him swim around and see if a bass don't come up there and tear his ass up. Let me get some water real quick. Put him in the little bait bucket, keep him alive. Keep every last one of them. Mark is plugging them now. Mark got the technique down. All right, you guys, so it's the next morning. It is 6 a.m. right now, and the bait is still alive. Left it in the trunk. Stayed alive overnight on the bubbler. It was a kind of good idea, kind of bad idea, because now it smells like fish in this mug. It's all good, because I got to shampoo my, my truck anyway, so I'm going to shampoo that drink today and get that fish smell out. But about to go pick my boy up. Head down to the spot and see if we can't get on some flatheads. I've never caught a flathead before. This year I am tackling new species that I haven't caught yet. And I have already, by the time this video drops, you guys will already see it. I have caught carp. I have caught pike. I have caught chain pickerel. I have caught bullhead catfish. And I think that elk, oh, smallmouth bass. So I've caught a lot of new species so far on the channel so i'm trying to keep that momentum up and let's go after some monster flatheads now the potomac isn't really known for its flatheads but there are flatheads in the potomac there are big ones but they're rare to catch so monster flathead most likely unlikely going to happen but if I just catch any flathead, I'll you know I'll be satisfied. Monster blues now. You definitely catch those. You know, if you go back to my previous video, I'll link it in the description below. My 52 pounder. That joker was huge. Yeah, they definitely got monster blues. Nothing you known for their monster blues. They got channel catfish, they don't get that big. Channel catfish, they get eaten up. 
by you know other catfish and such also possibly could have a special somebody meeting up with us out there so we shall see stay tuned like comment subscribe all right you guys we made it to the spot Woo! something big just splashed over there mark that joint was a big way catfish or carp something big as i'm doing the little intro so you know what we doing uh how you doing my guy you still alive you ain't looking so good you might want to start off with a little better uh, you a little bit you once you get out there you might be all right he good enough he gonna get the job done he a trooper for us up psych he flew off the hook already i ain't want him anyways let's find a better one one that's swimming around got some life in him yeah you're doing good let's get you on the hook hey chill out my guy that's what i need the one that's alive and kicking yeah he doing good all right don't fire off my guy i need you to stay on here Damn. All right, I'm gonna just have to hook y'all through the lips, man. Y'all keep, I keep losing y'all. Oh, man, I don't know. I'm hooking them where I'm supposed to. Them jokers is flying off, though. That's two gone. We ain't get, get to do nothing yet. So you, I'm just gonna use you as cut bait. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't making my friend. Ooh. This joint took a mean run. Cool. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is something big, Mark. Oh. Okay. Okay, we hooked up. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, did he drop it? Oh, no, he's still there. He's still there. Mark, you might have to, uh, yeah. might need the net. Whoo! Here he goes. Oh yeah, this is good. This this is good. Fifteen. You might want to uh just like walk over here and, and net them. There you go. Big big boy right there. I ain't even get it back out. I was just reeling it in, untangling it. The big boy ate. Let me get this eel out here though real quick, man. We gotta have baits out. <laughs> he took that joint and ran with it, Mark. Yeah, he's a good, he's a he might be 20. Get a nice weight on him. He's chilling. This is a blue cat. That blue get gone, Mark. <laughs> I don't, he might have got off. I don't know. Or he ate him. Swallowed him up. They do the suction, right? Yeah, they suck him in. So he probably got sucked off the hook. He had himself a nice meal. Nigga, Switch the pounds. Shit really hit the fan. See, he'd be big nah, he's still either size. 13. What you want to do, Mark? Yeah, throw that nigga back. Throw him back? Alright. I ain't taking nothing home that big. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This joke is big, bro. Just let him go right here. There he 
you go. Back into the abyss. This little, there's a little honey hole of them right here though, ma. I'm gonna just throw him right back into the same little cove. Close to the shoreline. Try like casting like out under the bridge, like try. Cause the current keep pushing it this way. Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. And uh, loosen up the, yeah, loosen up the drag and then set it down this way. We're good to go. He's on, Mark. Woo! He got, he got off. Damn, man. Line going off right now. I don't know, I'm trying to let him eat it and run with it because I know with live bait, they got to, you know, get it in their mouth and swallow it. But that joint, he got it, Mark, he got it. Oh, big boy, <laughs> big boy, big boy. <laughs> yes, sir. Let me tighten this drag up some more. All right, keep grilling, grilling. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Dude just ran with it. He might be snagged up. Hold on, let me see it real quick. Oh, no, he's on grilling, grilling, grilling. He's off, he's off. He was snagged up. Yeah, there you go. Keep going. It is. It is. There you go, man. Let me tighten the drag up a little bit more. All right, there you go. This might be a good one because the way he's still pulling drag, and that jump's still pretty tight. Yeah. Yeah, 13 pounds. My boy, Mark, just showed up to the party. <laughs> I know, man. It's been so long. Yeah, here he comes. Oh, oh yeah, Mark. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one right there. Yes, sir. Mark, you just got your new PV, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah. I, I'm... Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Bluegill. This is on the live bluegill right here. Yo, the only ride that's been going off is the live bluegill ride. Right here in this little cove, son. I don't even cast far. It's right here. Right here, like 25 feet out, man. And they've just been tearing it up. Tearing it up, Mark. Mark got his workout in, boy. Yes, sir. All uh, right, let's get the hook out of his mouth. This one's even bigger than the one I caught, Mark. Look at his mouth. You gotta go in there and rotate it out. Yo, that joker was fighting you, Mark. All right, just gotta put it through the circle. Hold it up. I saw the touching 15, 17. About 17, seven, 17, seven. <laughs> yep, right there. That's it. He, he swim off in a second. He just came up from deep. So if not, you're gonna have to go in there and revive him, Mark. <laughs> He's still laying there. <laughs> yeah, I can see him right here. He hasn't moved yet. <laughs> He's still right there chilling. Yo, what is he doing? <laughs> he was barely out the water. 
He's he, he's moving now. I see his uh, fins. Now the big guys when they come out like that, they gotta like get a little get a little of a vibe in them. Dang. Yo, this he's right here, not moving. There he goes. Yeah. He's finally swimming off. <laughs> Yo, that joint took that joint took a while. <laughs> Oh, I think he just dropped it. Oh, nope, he still got it. Something got this thing. Yep. Fish on. Let me make sure I'm recording. This is a little guy. Nothing big. Small dude. Yeah, you want him? He's fat though. This one right here got some war wounds. He's definitely been in a couple battles. Hey. His young life, he got some battles. Oh. Okay. Now we got another runner. Oh. Dang, I think he just came off. No. Damn it. He just came off. I was just about to really put the press on him, man. Uh, he broke my hook. Oh, damn! My knot failed me. What the? F I always do double polymer too. Damn! That joker was that big enough. Oh man, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. This was a human error right here. You see this? When your line comes back like this, all curled up, that tells you that your knot failed you. It's out there. Now I need to know it's out there. My freaking knot failed me, man. Damn it. This one caught all the fish today. This one caught the 13 and the... I don't know what happened, man. I guess, kids, this is why you should retie after you catch fish. Because it, it did catch two for me. Retie, kids. So you don't look like me. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it for today, man. It's it's a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful thing as a fisherman when you come with the plan and your plan works, especially when it's like your first time doing it, you don't have the experience. So I know yesterday I started off with the bluegill um, and trying to catch a bass and that part didn't work, but I switched it up and decided that I was gonna go out today with my boy Mark and fish with the live bluegill and we caught two catfish on the live bluegill caught uh one baby one on some eel and i had another one that broke off man that joker was big i'm so i'm still salty about that one but man i appreciate you guys watching appreciate you guys supporting we are grinding this out this whole summer I am grinding for 1K. That's just the initial goal, like I said before. We're grinding for 1K. Once we hit that, then we're gonna keep moving on to bigger and better things. So stay tuned, keep watching, hit the like button, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later. Maybe out on the water, maybe out on the lake. Hit me up on my DM. I do go fishing with my subscribers, so yeah, hit me up.